Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to test resistance uh, on spark plug wires. So let's go ahead and get started with that. The items that you're going to need, um, first of all, you're going to need a multimeter, one that has an ohms uh, setting on it. Obviously spark plug wires, and then you are going to need some kind of a ruler or a measuring tape so that way we can measure the, uh, the length so we can calculate the, um, the actual ohms per foot. So with those items in place, let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to do that. All right, as you can see here, we have a lot of spark plug wires that we need to test. I'm going to see which, some, there's some old ones that uh, might be breaking down, some that are just bad, so we're going to go ahead and eliminate those. So to start off, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your multimeter, we're going to go ahead and set it to 20,000 ohms. Go ahead and get your first spark plug wire out, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to take these, these uh, wires here from the multimeter, and you're going to touch the metal connectors inside on the actual metal um, connectors of the spark plug cables, but you want to make sure that you get a nice tight fit, so that way it's an accurate reading. Then you're going to get the other end, do the same thing with that one. And then now we're going to look at the multimeter to see what kind of reading we're getting, and that'll tell us the, uh, the ohms by the thousands, and then from there we can calculate by footage, and then we can go from there. Now this one's a little erratic here. It's bouncing between four and six and seven thousand. And let's see, if we take the wire and now stretch it out, it's going five to nine, and up to 12 and so, so this wire definitely has some issues here because it's the resistance is fluctuating as it's bent so as the wire is going to be in the vehicle moving it's going to be all over the place it's not stable so I would say this one here is not good all right I'm going to go through now and test the rest of these and uh, I'm just going to show the actual um, multimeter screen so you can see the different readings that we're getting um, and then once we have the good ones, then from there I'll show you how to calculate the actual ohms per footage. Now keep in mind that this is not going to be the same on every vehicle. Um, you're going to have to check the vehicle specs for what the resistance rating should be for your particular vehicle. And also the brand of spark plug wires plays into that as well. Um, this test is just basically I'm just showing you the process for testing that. But then you'll have to do a little bit of research on your own to see what your reading should be. Now, this will eliminate spark plug wires that maybe have a breakdown in the connection, and we're going to see some of those, which are definitely trash. You want to get rid of them. Now, just because the resistance rating is good does not necessarily mean that the insulation is good on the, on the spark plug wires. So the insulation can also break down, which will then cause a grounding issue and also issues with the spark plug wire itself. So we're not going into that in this video. This is strictly just to show you the process for testing the resistance of wires to see which ones are good or bad with the resistance reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get back to these so we can show you some different uh, scenarios with these wires. Okay, let's grab another one here. <clears throat> Connect in. Let's get a reading on this one. Okay, this one here is completely bad. As you can see, it's not even getting any kind of resistance reading there with the ohms. Even if we bend the wire, see if maybe there's a break or something, this one's completely shot. So, this one we know is bad. That's out of here. Let's grab another one here. Make connection on this one. And let's see here. Okay, this one here, we're getting 8.8. .8, and if we even if we bend the wire, move it, it's pretty steady around the 8.8, 8.9. So this one here is definitely a good one. Okay, this one here looks good. Put that one over here. Another one. Okay, this one here, it's bouncing around. Well, it's around 4.5. Let's see as we move it. This one's fluctuating, it goes between 4.5, 4.9, and then jumping up to 12. Okay, this one's definitely got issues. Take another one here. Let's see what this one comes up with. Okay. 
okay, this one, this is a, a perfect example. When the wire is in a certain position, you're getting about 4.1, and then it drops to, to nothing. So this wire definitely has a break in it somewhere. So in a case of this one, it would be in the vehicle, it would be riding fine. If the thing would just move a little bit, that's going to pretty much cause problems because then the current's completely lost. So this one's all over the place, definitely trash. Okay, just so I'm not taking up the whole time, we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'm going to go through the rest, and then we'll be back um, to then show you um, the actual uh, calculating by foot. Now, this one here actually looks good. It's pretty steady around 4.5, 4.6. Yeah, this one here is good. All right. We'll be back. I finished testing everything. This is the stack here. These all failed the test. These are these wires are gone. And then we have these here that actually did well. Now, as mentioned earlier, that doesn't necessarily mean that the wires are good because you still have the insulation issue. And then you should also do a physical inspection, make sure there's no burns, cracks, all that. So at least as far as for the ohms and uh, the resistance testing, these came out fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to calculate what the ohms is per foot. So that way you can see for your particular vehicle and for the specs on the wires, and you can make sure that that's good as well. Okay, so here's, this one here is actually a brand new spark plug wire. Let's go ahead and connect it up. So what we're getting here is about 19,700. About 19,700, okay? That's very stable. So now let's go ahead and measure this wire. All right, so let's lay this out here. So looks like we're 29 inches. So 29 inches. All right, so we know that the total ohms is 19,700, and that's for that entire spark plug cable. So now what we'll do is we'll take that total ohms, we'll divide it by the length of the cable, which we know is 29 inches, and that's going to then give us 679 ohms per inch for that cable. So now we'll multiply it times 12 to get the ohms per foot. Times 12 then is gonna give you 8,152 ohms per foot for that cable. So then now what you'll do is you'll check the specifications for that particular vehicle that this is going on. You'll also check the ratings for those spark plug cables and see what the ohms rating is per foot. And then that will then allow you to see um, if the cables are, are good or bad at that point. And then while I'm at it, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Instagram page. Um, if I could encourage everyone to uh, check it out and follow, it would be greatly appreciated. The page is the underscore dog four six nine two. The underscore dog four six nine two. If you could, do me a favor, visit that page, follow them, be greatly appreciated. That pretty much wraps up our video today on how to check the resistance on spark plug wires. Um, I hope this video helped you out. Please send any questions, any comments. Um, as always, I appreciate all the support, so please like the video, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time.